Hello guys, thanks for watching. Adrian here from Epsid. So uh, in this uh, short video, I will uh, uh, download Core UI Flask, uh, a popular uh, good project provided by Epsid. Uh, I will build uh, the product uh, using the Docker setup and also the manual build. Um, the product um, uses the the latest version of Core UI. It's a super super nice uh, material based. Uh, Kit. Uh, the product comes with uh, basic authentication, uh, database tools, and uh, Docker support. Let's uh, access the uh, the public repository published on uh, on GitHub. I will uh, check out the the sources. Let me go here. Okay, I hope my my window is visible to the audience. Okay, once the source code is downloaded from uh, from GitHub, um, feel free to use uh, whatever um, uh, code editor you you are comfortable with. Uh, in this case, uh, I'm using VS Code because I'm it's pretty cool and handy for my for my needs. So. Now we're uh, basically we're uh, we have the source code downloaded uh, locally, and uh, what we need to do is to follow up the instructions as provided on the readme file. The first thing is to uh, is to launch the um, Docker setup with just a single command, execute it uh, via Docker Compose app minus minus build. Uh, basically, the Docker uh, initialize uh, the application, uh, download the modules, and set up the database and start a product. And uh, in less than one minute, we should see the application up and running in the browser. Let's uh, wait a little bit and allow the completion of the automatized uh, setup. Cool. At this uh, at this point, the application is up and running. We are using SQLite uh, persistence, uh, so we can check out the, some some details in the in the terminal. And uh, I will use an incognito window to access the product. Now the product is up and running. We can see that uh, requests are made uh, to the backend. Uh, by default, application is not shipped with any um, default user, so I will create new one. Test at I will use a simple password. So the user is created. We can sign out. So all is up and running. The UI. Looks good. Uh, we have here the logout page. Okay. Uh, so the next step is to uh, build manually the the project. What we need to do, I will maximize the the window here just to highlight the the commands. Okay. First step is to create a virtual environment. Okay, I will activate the virtual environment. I will install the requirement file, all the all the modules specified in the uh, all the uh, project dependencies, and uh, the next thing is to execute the application and start application using the, the embedded server provided by Flask. Uh, Flask run. I will specify a, a port because I have many many running projects. I will use the 
another uh, another uh, another port so here it is uh, the application is up and running i didn't uh, do any special step just download the sources create a virtual environment install the modules and start application using the uh, flask run command okay as for the previous uh, execution we don't we don't have any default user so we need to register a new user and uh, we are good to go with uh, with the um, with the um, with this account so guys thanks for watching uh, let us know what you think about the project in case anyone has issues with the product or want to submit some uh, some uh, uh, new features to suggest new features for this for this product we are 24 7 on discord uh, feel free to access the uh, AppSit support page uh, we are replying to all emails and also um, uh, support the community on discord thanks for watching guys and i wish you all a super super day bye